welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the Cumbria Way, well over the next five days anyway. So today's stint is from here in Alberston and we're going to walk to Coniston. Right, so you can see the start point behind me there and we're going to start by going down the gill. Right, so let's look at it on the map. We start today's walk in the historic village of Alberston. After heading out into the countryside, we find our way through a series of small dairy and sheep farms. Travelling through New Biggin, we continue our way towards the hills. The path on this first section can be tricky to follow in parts. We drop down again, working our way through Rawton Beck. This gives us a turn out to the left. Although there are many farms on this route, I didn't see many shops or pubs on the way, so it's a good idea to stock up in Alberston before setting out for the day. As we work our way towards Tottle Bank, we enter the Lake District National Park. Now the scenery starts to change as we work our way up onto the fells. Deacon Tarn greets us a little bit further up. At this point, we'll be level with the southern tip of Coniston Water. It's a long descent down the fell before we get sight of Coniston. First of all, we go past the reservoir, and then there is a steady descent down to the water's edge. The walk along Coniston's shores is steady and stable, and gives a lovely end to this walk, and get into Coniston Village to complete stage one of the Cumbria Way. Alison's with me today, <laughs> and we're going to go from here. This is the start of the Cumbrian Way, and that's the gill. The forecast for today is a bit patchy, so we'll see how we get on. Uh, we're going to head out of Alberston, start working our way through quite a few farms. The big feature today is probably going to be cows and gates, <laughs> and then eventually we'll get to Coniston Water, and we can take some drone footage there. And then once we've got to Coniston Water, we'll head into the village. Tonight we're staying in the youth hostel there, so I've been interested in uh, bunk bed situation. That's it, we're off. <laughs> there we go, Cumbria way. We're going over the bridge here, we're starting to make our way into the countryside. There's our first cows. It's supposed to be flat this, but this initial slight haul up the uh, hill once we've left the river. Today's walk's about 15 miles, so it's going to take the day to do it. Oh, little gate here. Now then, rinse this field and heading our way on the Cumbrian Way. A few cows over there. It's the, uh, big thing I'm concerned about this week. Because <laughs> that first turn is quite innocuous, so you've just got to keep right off for it. Then we're on this. Oh, nettles, lovely. <laughs> and try and keep nettle free. Oh, there's a big cow there. <laughs> It's a big dairy farm. Hello. <laughs> oh no, it's slipping underfoot. Come on, footpath, there you go. Root path. <laughs> lovely dog. He's thankful for a nice, lovely chain. <laughs> it's a nice van. I've just got a van, I'm converting it to a camper van. So uh, that's my thing for the next few weeks I'm going to be having a crack at. So a bit of excitement. The van I've got is a T28 uh, trend line, if you're interested. And I'm going to take it in for the pop top, putting on it next week. Then I've got to cut all the windows out, shove them all in, done the stripping out already. So yeah, busy little project. Oh. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> Nearly missed our turn in there, not for the last time. Right, Cumbrian Way, there we go. Whoop, little tiny gate. That is a, a tiny, tiny gate. Right, so, <laughs> innocuous little path. Oh, <laughs> our first official field of cows. Oh. 
You all right there? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Little, little style. Whoop. Uh. Second little path nearly missed. I don't think we've got a mile yet. So it's uh, not that obvious. There's our field mates over there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go on that. Oh my god. They're laughing at you again. Oh, I'm stuck. Too many holes. I'll go on the tire while I'm here. Oh. <laughs> May as well, why not? <laughs> anyway, back to the business of walking. <laughs> Looks like it's up there. Is that what your app says? This is our next little thing to get through. Oh dear. Just up here. More nettles. <laughs> okay. It's pretty sturdy that isn't it? Oh. There we go. Umbrian Way. Checking out this route before I came. Someone asked me on the last video, um, do I plan the routes before I cover them? Which you know, I know it might look a bit chaotic, but I do actually plan them out. And then this one, there's not a lot of shops and things between Alverston and Coniston. So we stopped at little Tesco's there, got a meal deal. So I reckon we'll finish this probably about five o'clock or so uh, by the time we get into Coniston. So yeah, worth a check. So this and day five also, there's not a lot on that last stretch. So yeah, just have to be prepared. Right, so we're getting up to this little building here. What have you got? Stickman. Little stick man. What's his name? Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna leave him there. There you go, Twiggy. <laughs> well, it's a levitating post there. Uh, so go. Yeah, so we're going through here. Oh, we might be doing anyway. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Shall I get that goat for you? <laughs> these are big leaves, look at these. Bump. Horse chestnut. It's a conker tree. Yeah, conkers are out soon. This is uh, August when I'm doing this. Today it's about 17 degrees, overcast. Last week it was pretty hot, it's about 23. And uh, <laughs> different challenges on different days today. It's a bit of mugginess and uh, a bit of drizzle. But yeah, last week probably would have been a bit too hot for me to do this because it's a bit crazy trying to do it when it's 23. Straight on over this, out into the open again. Drizzle. Now I've not done the Cumbrian way before and uh, I was expecting it to be like a more established path but it is quite a kind of uphill down dale and little dinky paths which don't look that well walked to be honest. So yeah I expect to get lost a few little times on this. Particularly the start of this is new to me because we're not actually starting in the national park uh, of the Lake District so we're gonna sort of walk our way into it. So when we get to Coniston and we enter the Southern Fells in the Wainwright Books, then we're entering the National Park there. Uh, so we've just gone past a little farm, and it's a sheep farm, because there's all the sheep. Hello sheep, hello, give us a wave. <laughs> Not waving. Right, okay. Uh, I've seen this gate before, actually, on other people's videos. So I'm gonna go through here. Right, so we'll leave our sheep friends behind. Towards some cow friends. 
We're nearly two miles into the walk at this stage. So going across, the valley's opened up to us at the side there. A little bit of a view. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but right over on the distance there is the uh, lighthouse. And beyond that, you can see Morecambe Bay. Yeah, the southern parts of this walk on day one, it's fairly gentle, rolling hills, and then when we get towards the Old Man and Coniston, then it gets a bit more rugged on day two. So we'll look forward to that tomorrow. But for today, just about enjoying the walk. That's the scenery you get on day one. There you go, gentle rolling hills. Oh, that looks wet. <laughs> You're gonna wet me legs. Cornfield, but it is a path. There you go, you can see. There you go, it's like Star Wars. <laughs> I'm making my legs wet here. What have you done to me? Don't come down here, go round. <laughs> my legs are soaking. Oh no. It's a nice feeling with all the corn brushing past you, but. <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> alternatively, you could just come down here. But you know, live and learn. Got me light hiking trousers on, so it's fine. We're down here. A bit drier. Get my legs there. It's wrecked. <laughs> you wrecked my trousers. On this route, I have booked into places on the way, as in like B&Bs and youth hostels and stuff, because I didn't want to take the tent, because just a bit of extra weight, and I want to make sure I can plug in all the filming gear every day and all that kind of stuff, so a few technicalities to deal with. Uh, past a couple of other people that got the train with us and they're gonna camp it going along but I've just got my normal day bag basically well this is the one up from it I was chatting to Dave from DA Outdoors uh, he did this not so long ago uh, so hi Dave and Dave's got a channel I'll put it in the description for you and what he does is he does like fly throughs of this and they're about four to seven minutes long so if you want to see the points on the way really quickly in a shorter video, have a look at Dave's channel. That's what I use quite a lot. What are you doing? Smashing your way through the countryside. It's the other way. Oh, the hinge. It goes the other way. Oh, God. What have you done? Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, we're off track. We've missed another turning. <laughs> so, I'm going to go back through, back through this awful gate. Now, we've gone through there, hit this path. And now we're going down here to the stream. Whoop. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it really is like difficult to follow this route. Cumbria way. <laughs> Across the gate to my house. Well, the sign says, go past the house. And there's the house over there, so I guess it's the gate by the side of that. This is not, <laughs> not very well, it is well signed, it's just that we're not looking where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are doing it, uh, do have something like All Trails on, or OS Maps and have the route downloaded, because that's how we can really tell if we're off route or not, because uh, you can see it on the app. So yeah, you can get paper maps for this. And again, it's easy to use both. Uh, paper map's good if it's like today and raining all the time. So you have to keep getting your phone out and getting it wet. Anyway, good progress. About two miles in, 13 miles to go. <laughs> oh, someone's had a fire. 
It's been a fire here by the look of it. It's a charred little gate post there. Oh dear. <laughs> the farmer's just been a bit irate with us. If you come in through here, I'll just tell you now so you don't, don't have to have it. So you come through there where the farm is there. Uh, you don't go in there. He's marked a no entry sign, but actually it's a no entry to a field, so it doesn't make any sense. But you come through that gate here. <laughs> Look out for this tractor, <laughs> and then you go in this way because we started walking up there. Right, let's get on the Cumbria way. <laughs> Farmer's a nice guy, actually. It's just uh, <laughs> it's pointless in the right direction because we keep going wrong. <laughs> but you are following this wall at the side if you're doing this, uh, and then there's a little garden gate down here. He says. But yeah, there is another path that goes into the field there, but apparently that's not it. <laughs> What you're looking for here as well, you don't want to the end of the field, you're looking for this gate, which the farmer's told us about, which is weirdly at like a 45 degree angle. So that again is quite innocuous. Oh, this is tiny frog. Hello, froggy. Just on a brook. Oh, he's in. It's like a coal cellar door, that, isn't it? Oh. All right, you're off there, and then we're down here. Well, this farm's got a nice clear sign on it, so we can see where we're going. This is a sheep farm again. Public footpath, St. John's Church, Cumbria Way. I've definitely been there before. Right, over here then. <laughs> Sheep going nuts. Whoop. Right, little gate. Hang on. <laughs> this is not a wide gate. Hang on, my foot stuck. Bit of a tight gate, that one. There you go. Now then, there's the church. St. John's Church. We have been relatively cow free so far, but there's a few coming up here. Here they are. Hello, ladies. Although there shouldn't be many calves around, that one was definitely getting some milk from its mother, so a little bit cautious of that with calves this time of year. However, back in friendly sheep area now. They're all pacifists, so I don't mind them. Right, so that is St. John's in front of us. Let's get in there. You can see the little marker. Just passing through the side of the church here. Keeping it on our right. Oh, well, forget it. I'm going over this. Little... It's like a load of Meccano, that. the church. Yeah, that's a cute church, yeah. Nice. On the map, there's something called the Mill House, so heading around that. It's a nice little cottage, isn't it? Yeah. Rowan tree there, berries out. Not many facilities on this first bit as you go through. Uh, we've got our sandwiches though. It has been putting down a bit of rain overnight, so it's a bit puddly. Oh, I squeeze past here. Right, I just need to show you this. So we've come to this park where this little stream is, and there's says a footpath over there, and there's a footpath marker on that as well. But we went down there because it said private on here. Uh, but actually, it's Cumbria Way. <laughs> Please keep dogs on the lead and private land, so if you're coming across this, it seems like you can't go in, but you can. So you just walk on a designated path that's through the middle of the farm and that is it. But yeah, it's really misleading that, so. Naughty. <coughs> anyway, there is a clear, I've just seen it because I've been in the other field. There's a clear um, tunnel to walk through, which you go through this farm. It's just staying there. 
this is the designated path. So, coming through here, little safety catch on that. Oh, it's double locked. That is a bit of a panicker by the look of it. <laughs> sure, the farm is lovely. He's got a double lock on that for, for some reason. Right, now we walk down this little tunnel here. The good news, though, is we get to see these tiny horses. <laughs> and all these little horses. Whew. Right, there's your designated walking tunnel. <laughs> A nice squelch down the Cumbrian Way. There you go, at the end of our tunnel. You get some small horses with some even smaller horses. <laughs> Tiny babies. Right, I'm getting over this style. Okay, so now we are heading down here and we can see just getting to the edge of some hills. Like, if you can move these. No. You can. You can. Don't be jealous just because mine does it too. <laughs> <laughs> mine are on sliders though. <laughs> Pretty much five miles in now and we're still heading towards the uh, bottom of the national park. Just looking at the uh, the channel, gone over a thousand subscribers. So thanks to everybody who's subscribing and commenting on that. Uh, so much appreciated. And with your efforts of putting comments on and liking stuff, that's really helping us. So got about another 10 miles or so to do on this today. We're going to come across Coniston Water, so I'm looking forward to getting to that because uh, we'll be able to get the look down and then have a little fly about with a drone. And then shortly after that, we'll be in the village the and to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our next obstacle. That looks a bit mucky. Beautiful. No. <laughs> Hope these are stable, these rocks. Oh no. Don't like the look of that middle one. <laughs> There you go, it did move her. <laughs> right, we're over here. Let's try and get over here without falling over. There we go. There we are. Quite a little staircase, that, isn't it? Five steps to their case. Whoop. Sheepies. Exertion wise, it's not like steepness or anything. So it really depends how much weight you're carrying. Um, I'm carrying like a couple of bottles of water. So two kilos there. I reckon my bag's probably probably like seven kilos, so it's not crazy. Good old day walk. I'll say I'm not camping if I was. Probably add another five, six, seven K onto that. So that's why I've chosen not to do that. <laughs> there we go, follow the road, the Cumbria way. And you come across this quite impressively broken building. Look at that. Looks like a bit of range rolling in there. will be us. Cumbrian Way. Some cows there just in the field. Biggins. Hello ladies. We're going down here and heading to the hills. Just kind of see, maybe not on the camera, but 
the just bigger stuff is starting to appear as we get over towards Coniston. Going through here, tiny sign for the Cumbrian Way. <laughs> just like in a wood. So far, my summary of day one is a bit weird, <laughs> a bit farmy, and uh, not very good signage. So do make sure you take an app with you that you can trace, because uh, I think we've took wrong turns probably about six times now. <laughs> Squelching our way around the Cumbrian Way. I did look it up on this because I was thinking, is it the Cumbrian Way or the Cumbria Way? And both names are used. Some of the signs actually say Cumbrian Way and some say Cumbria Way, so I'm just going to use them interchangeably. I think most favoured though is Cumbria Way. So uh, anyway, let's not get hung up on it. <laughs> if you have done this, then let me know how you did it and how you found it, particularly this day one for me, because, uh, say, I'm not quite halfway around yet. I'm hoping it becomes a bit clearer when I get away from the farms and sort of more directly into the hills. <laughs> it is muddy round here. Kind of looking forward to getting a bit further into the hill. I know this isn't a high route, but I keep in my head thinking I've got to get away from the, <laughs> the valley floor that's all muddy. Load of cows. Great. How do we do this? I think I might have to head north of the cows and go around. Yeah, cows are generally all right, but they're a bit big. <laughs> when I was about 12, I'd kicked a ball into a cow field, and you know, it's a cow field that was just next to a place I used to go all the time, I thought nothing of it, so I went in for it. And it must have been calving season, and this cow absolutely stormed at me. Got the ball, managed to hurdle back over the barbed wire fence, but it was pretty close. So since then, I'm a little bit cautious of the cows. If you are thinking they are cute, we do kill a few people each year. So, again, I don't want that to be me. I'm gonna go through here. Whoop! That's convoluted. Right, leaving the sheep behind, heading through this little tunnel. Uh, and I think the terrain's gonna change a little bit, looking at the map ahead of us. Whoop. It's a shady little tunnel. Cumbrian Way. Hell. Oh look, it's the seaside. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what this is. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Garthwaite Farm. There we go, we can buy it if you want. <laughs> There's some Crocosmia here. Orangey ones there. I've got them at home. I don't know what's this be. What is it? There's a fuchsia. <laughs> the middle's like fuchsia, isn't it? Looks like it. It's nice. Yeah, so at this point we seem to have left all the farmland behind, just gone through a little village. Um, we're getting a bit of height, so out to the side, you can see just the sea is right in the distance over there. Uh, so that's the Morecambe Bay area where we were before. So we've got a bit of height now, and we're going up, feels like. Way <laughs> a truck. There's a heron just up here flying, and I can see it. That's a big one. Where's my dinner? 
can only round ponds heaven looking for dinner. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he fancies lamb. Done like six miles, just a bit over. Okay, now we get to this thing, bull. Uh, which is a mark you'll probably see on all videos. How'd you get in here? Push. There's nothing to push. Oh, hang on. Well, I hope there's no bull anyway, because <laughs> I don't, I don't want to run. Now we're up here. I think we just got our first glimpse of Coniston over there. That is where we're going. Good to see it. Hello. <laughs> so presumably we've just entered the national park pretty much. So we're through this one and we're heading down a little bit. Whoop. Yay. Spring is that one? Spring? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Okay. There we go. Down the hill. So coming away, Kendall ground, half a mile. This is us. What's happened here? Bit of a weird scenario. Wiggly bit. Yeah, it's a wiggly bit on the map. Oop. There you go. Little horses there. Oh, they're the big ones. <laughs> the big and the ones we saw before them two. Horses also bigger than me, so <laughs> not going to mess with them. Happily jump over the gate behind it. This wire's keeping something in, or not in, because there's a cow in the middle of the road. <laughs> that cow's cow with two calves, that is not necessarily good news for me. <laughs> oh, he's going. I think they're knocking this fence over, you know, because you can see it really wiggling. This fence here, next to us, this electric fence. I think he's just smashed through it. Yeah. We're turning now to the sort of valley floor level, so the view's gone a little bit, but in front of us, apart from these two super cute little calves there, <laughs> You've got the, the valley and that eventually meets Coniston. Hello! Oh. <laughs> this is the battery that the electric fence is tied up to. But those cows just smashed through it, so I don't think it's that powerful. Right, another one of these. Ankle breakers. This first stage, there's quite a bit of it on uh, road, but it's only single track stuff like you can see behind me. So it's, you know, it's just like a big path, really. I don't really like road walking, but it's not really that noticeable. Just left that road behind. <laughs> and it's boggy on this bit. So I've not worn my boots on this. I've just taken my trail shoes instead. Um, just because it's a bit more of a summer thing. But done quite well, actually. Feel quite. Well, they're not dry, but they don't feel too soggy, so that's all right. Uh, I can read maps like normal OS maps, but I think this would be quite difficult because sometimes you can't really see anything and you're not up high, so you can't like, look for bodies of water and things uh, to say where you are. So yeah, I definitely say if you're doing this, take an app with you so you can follow it because the signage on day one so far, <laughs> not great. Another random, <laughs> random artifact. Big in that one. There's the road anyway, what a path, you know. <laughs> these sheep are making a racket. Hello. How are you? Can these two here? Hello. I know. 
think it's feeding time by the look of it because <laughs> there's a load of sheep running after that uh, Land Rover. Look at these. Yeah, <laughs> cows are legging it, the sheep are legging it. That is definitely feeding time. What was it, dinner? <laughs> Kiln Brook Bank, sorry. I said bonk for a minute. <laughs> Kill bank only. <laughs> oh, right, so we're about halfway around now, just a bit over. Yes. Just going to ask Alison what she thought of it, because <laughs> people keep saying, Alison should say something. What do you hey. think of the walk so far? Very good. Very yes. good. Yes. Yeah. It is now you can see the water. Yeah. It gives you a bit of hope. <laughs> <laughs> when we come down the other side of this, you'll be able to see Coniston water, and then we're just walking straight towards it. So we're just having a few minutes, chilling out, and then we'll head our own way. Either swifts or swallows, as far as I can work out. To show you these, we're getting to the end of foxglove season now, so they all tend to seed. But if you get these, there you go, just get some out for you. The foxglove seeds are absolutely tiny. So there they are. So each one's got thousands of these. <laughs> the sheep there giving its opinion. What do you think? <laughs> well, I guess it's that way with the CW. But this one here, the outside. There you go, Cumbrian way. Bit of a tumble down barn there. Let's pick our way through this squelch. Oop. <laughs> you don't know what's mud and what's horse poop. <laughs> That's what a choice, isn't it? There's a noticeable amount of cow remnants around the place and a fair amount of mud as well. <laughs> there you go. A little bit of an elevated walk though on this bit, so. Get a little view. Can't really argue with that, can you? Yeah. The scenery picks up a bit as you get towards Coniston. Yeah. That's a wind-shaped tree, isn't it? Look at that. Feels like we're in the Lake District now, for sure. It's getting a bit more mountainous. I'll just show you the look around. So from here, we're going to work our way through the gate there, up the fell side to the top. Whoop. Oh, it's a good view out. Whoop. Right, that's us over. There's Alison. <laughs> Careful. Hopefully that's the last of farmers shouting at us. <laughs> On this section then, there is a bit of up to do. Uh, we'll soon be near the top, which is a short one. There we go. Hitting one of these little paths again. <laughs> here, some birds are praying in the distance there. Can you hear that? Anyway, here's the public footpath to turn off. We're heading into the hills. Done about 10 miles now, so that's my normal kind of natural limit to what I like to walk in a day. But five miles to go. <laughs> Feel all right though, because it's quite a flat walk, so it's not really a huge energy expenditure. Uh, it'll probably take about eight hours to see the full day. It's a good old walk, I like it. Do you like it? You like it now we're here? Now we're in the lakes, we've done most of it. Fair enough. It's a good walk in, it's quite a, a view. You've got a 
elevated position over the valley. It was pretty good. It's uh, head height of ferns. <laughs> bit of fern shopping here, clear a bit of space for the sheep. I think this is like them crop circles you used to get. It's aliens. We've just come down the other side of the hill. It's about another kilometre to Beacon Town. Just heading our way through here. There's an old oak tree there, look at that. And this tells us it's the Cumbria Way. And there we go. Although the signs around the farms are a bit random and it's possible to get lost there. We took a few long turns. But once you get out on the fells, it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully we'll be in sight of Coniston Water again soon. Footpath. But is it a Cumbrian Way footpath? In a good walk, this, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It is. All right, little gate here. Let's pop our way through. The forecast for today was heavy rain, um, but we've really got away with it today. It's been virtually nothing. A couple of little showers, that's it. It's another one of those ferny walks when you get on this side as well. Head height ferns. It's quite noticeable this last up. I'm thinking it's the last up anyway before we get Coniston in sight. So I think once we get to the crest of this, we'll have it in our view. You've got a decent view behind. Just have a look at that. Just coming up on Beacon Tarn now, it's about the 10 mile mark, so two thirds of the day done. And then we're pretty much on the home straight. I think a bit of rain's gonna come in. There's the tarn there ahead of us. We're taking a left path around. When you get to the tarn here, you've actually started walking the length of Coniston water because uh, it's kind of adjacent to it in the next valley. So <laughs> just on the other side of this, you can see Coniston. So you already started doing the length of that. So knowing you started doing Coniston water, uh, that gives you a bit of a glimmer of hope that you get in there. <laughs> Once we got past the town, you're back to Jurassic Park again. <laughs> I'm going to head along this little path here, and then we should shortly have Coniston in our sights. The valley starts to open up towards us now. Alison's complaining that's it now. <laughs> Go look. That's the lake. That's the lake. That's not the lake. <laughs> You're not case. <laughs> However, old man etc. is above us there. So from this side, the first thing on this side will be Dow Crag, and then it'll be Old Manor Coniston and Swirl How at the end, but we're just a bit clagged in at the moment. 
Nice view that though, isn't it? Valley opening up in front of us. Smashing. Oh man, these ferns are wetting my pants again. The ferns are wetting my pants. We're just finding one of these small single track roads again. And they should take us over to the other side of the valley where we can see Coniston Lake. As soon as we join this, more or less. Got that, so two miles to Torba. We're just gonna head in that direction. Then we're nearly there. We're still heading our way down. And we've got to the bit where the telegraph poles are. So we follow this down. And then we get our way to Coniston. It's just there. Uh, it's not really, it's over there. <laughs> Right, so left it is from here. Instinct will take you right, because uh, that's where Coniston water is, but we are up here, and then you drop down. Yeah, there's a grouse there with a couple of its little chicks. That's cute. Don't know if you can see them right there. Whew. Feels like we've been walking on this for ages now because I'd have expected to come across Coniston. <laughs> I know I'm walking alongside it, but we're just not got it in sight at the moment. But well, hopefully soon. It's about another mile, I think, to Torba. Feels very much like the evening at the moment, but it's kind of like five o'clock-ish. Um, the wildlife count today, so I've just seen a little grouse there with its chicks. Uh, we've seen a deer this morning. We've seen some rabbits around the warren. Sheep and cows, of course. So, oh, and a heron as well. Yeah, so quite a lot today. Still in Jurassic Park here, but we're getting our way towards the road. And then shortly after that, we'll be able to see Coniston Water. So we just get down to this bridge. This is Torva back. So we'll just get over that. Definitely put some water down, look at that. That is powerful. Right, we're through here. Then we're going up a bit to the car park, then heading onto the fell. Whoop. Whoop. Coniston! Sure, three and a half miles away. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> We've done that little bit, and Coniston is just coming into sight. So I'll show you the lake. Right, there's Coniston just there, it's just peeking through this gate and now I feel like I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Whoop, maybe not, it stopped. Uh. Oh, that's better. Well, that's not three and a half miles to that lake. No. <laughs> it's about a mile. As we come down here, that's Sunnybank Jetty on the shores of Coniston. So we're just going to follow it along the shores a little bit and then we'll be in Coniston Village. This lakeside walk gives a nice little finish to day one. We're just down here for a little bit, then we're going to come into the village and then find some refreshments and a bit of dinner. So yeah, good first day. I'd say the uh, early bit with the farms, <laughs> a bit confusing. Once you get through the farms and get into the fells, then scenery starts to open up to you. And it's uh, definitely a great walk. All right, let's see what the village has to offer. We well, didn't mention it, but I did change my socks a little while back because they're absolutely soaking. And don't want my feet to blister up too bad. So a couple of dry pairs of socks in the bag. And uh, she'll be laughing.